Now that Bernie Sanders has dropped out, Joe Biden has a huge task ahead of him. He knows he can't win without the left. He cannot win without Bernie Sanders supporters. Hillary Clinton was not able to win over Bernie Sanders supporters, and that is largely because she didn't even try, like not even a little bit. So if Joe Biden even wants a chance at defeating Donald Trump, he has to win over a sizable portion of Bernie's base in order to be electorally successful. Um, will he be able to do that? I genuinely don't know. I think that winning over Bernie Sanders supporters is important, but the bigger task ahead of him, if not the main task, is getting disaffected non-voters to come out for him. That I think he's going to struggle with. Uh, with that being said, immediately after Bernie Sanders dropped out, he made a pitch to Bernie Sanders supporters, and I will uh, judge this on a scale from 1 to 10 to tell you what I think about this. He tweeted, I know Bernie well. He's a good man, a great leader, and one of the most powerful voices for change in our country. And it's hard to sum up his contributions to our politics in one single tweet, so I won't try to. To Bernie and Jane as friends from Jill and me, you haven't just run a political campaign, you've created a movement. And make no mistake about it, we believe it's a movement that is as powerful today as it was yesterday. That's a good thing for our nation and our future. Yeah, right. We know how hard it is. You have put the interest of the nation and the need to defeat Trump above all else. And for that, we're grateful. But we want you to know we'll be reaching out. You'll be heard by me. As you say, not me, us. And to Bernie's supporters, I know that I need to earn your votes. And I know that might take time. But I want you to know that I see you. I hear you and I understand the urgency of this moment. I hope you'll join us. You're more than welcome. You're needed. Together, we will defeat Donald Trump, but we will also address the climate crisis. We will make college affordable, and we will make health care available to all. We will not just rebuild this nation. We'll transform it, and I'm asking you to join me. And then he provides you with a link to get on his mailing list, and then that leads to a uh, donation page. No thanks. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, I rate this 6.5. It's better than Hillary Clinton. I'll give him that because Hillary Clinton's pitch effectively was, where else are you going to go? You have no one else to vote for. So you've got to fall in line and support me. So fuck off. I'm going to try to win over some Republicans now. So I do give him credit uh, by saying, I know I have to earn your vote, but I know that, that <laughs> he knows that's exactly what he has to say currently because he saw how badly Hillary Clinton face planted. But let me tell you where he's going wrong in uh, trying to pander to us while not actually tweaking his message. He's saying, look, we all are going to address the climate crisis together. We'll make college affordable, which means nothing, um, and we'll make healthcare available to all. Except you literally said that you would veto Medicare for all. I don't think he fully realizes just how damaging that interview was to his electoral prospects. Like anyone who thought... I think uh, delusionally so, no disrespect, but delusionally so, that they could somehow push him to the left. All hope of that vanished immediately when he said, if Congress historically managed to pass Medicare for all, I'd veto it. So he has a lot of work to do. Now, you're not going to be able to win over 100% of Bernie Sanders supporters. And for me, I will say, am I gettable? Yes. Will he earn my vote? Most likely, no. Because what I'm asking for is a very tall order. Uh, first and foremost, I'll tell you where to start. You have to unequivocally, unapologetically, not only endorse Medicare for All, but campaign on it relentlessly and bring it up every single time I hear you talk to someone in the mainstream media. Every single time. And not only that... All of the donations that you took from the health industry and Big Pharma, you've got to return them. You've got to donate them to charity. Because I can't believe that you are going to actually fight for Medicare for all so long as you have that money that's influencing you. And even if you were to do these things, I don't think that 
a solid portion of the left would even be down for you because we just don't believe you. There is a trust deficit. So the Democratic Party may just not be able to win over the left for a long time. Like, they literally have to deliver a policy. They have to pass Medicare for All. It has to be signed into law, and we have to have it in order to get these voters back. That's how much damage the Democratic Party has done. And they don't even realize it. They think that bullying us into supporting Joe Biden. They think that fear-mongering relentlessly about Donald Trump is going to suffice. It didn't work in 2016, and I assure you, it's not going to work in 2020, especially now that you have a weaker candidate going up against Donald Trump. Like, Hillary Clinton, as uh, conniving and evil and duplicitous as she was, at least she could speak coherently, right? But with Joe Biden, you have someone who is very clearly in cognitive decline. He's been incredibly accused of sexual assault, if not rape. So, the task here is even greater than it was in 2016. So, I don't think the Democratic Party fully understands what they have to do to win over the left. Now, on top of that, you've got to pick a VP who's progressive. And I don't mean someone who is a progressive in name only. Picking Kamala Harris obviously is not going to suffice. We're not going to be excited to vote for that cop who jailed children who or jailed parents of children who violated truancy laws. Nobody's going to vote for that cop. If you want to win, you actually have to pick someone who's legitimately progressive. And I'm talking really progressive, like a socialist. Maybe Rashida Tlaib, Nina Turner, Bernie Sanders himself. But anything short of someone who is just like far left, socialist, it's not going to excite anyone. Now, certainly, you can't make the boneheaded decision that Hillary Clinton made and pick someone to your right, because that is incredibly fucking stupid. So, you know, we're getting an indication, because Joe Biden said, I'll try to earn your vote, that he knows that he has to do a little bit of work. Like, he's more, uh, I think, savvy than Hillary Clinton, or at least his team is. Um, but here's the thing. I don't think he fully comprehends how much work he has to put in to win over Bernie Sanders supporters. Just, you know, making a platform be slightly more progressive, that isn't enough because we don't trust you. That's the thing. We don't trust you, and non-voters aren't going to trust you. If you don't put forward a really bold, radical agenda, that's not going to convince people to get out and vote. We still don't know if we'll be living through this pandemic come November. So you've got to work so fucking hard. I can't even begin to describe the task that you have ahead of you. Like, you don't get it. I don't think he fully realizes what he has to do. But I will say the fact that he at least acknowledged that he has to earn our votes is savvy. But that's not enough. That is not enough. We want solutions. We want policy concessions. And we want collateral. We want to know that you'll actually fight for these policies. And because there's so little trust there, because you have at every turn spit in the faces of young people saying you have no empathy for us and that you'd veto Medicare for all, he just may not be able to win over a, sor a, a certain portion of Bernie Sanders supporters. He just, it may be impossible for him. Now, will he win over a lot? Sure, I think a lot of Bernie Sanders supporters will suck it up and vote for Joe Biden as, you know, they did for Hillary Clinton in 2016, but you've got to work hard. Like, if you're serious, and I don't even think he read these tweets, I'm pretty sure that it was one of the staffers that put this out, but if you're serious about winning over Bernie Sanders supporters, take my words very seriously. We want policies, not just an endorsement of a policy, but absolutely vociferous advocacy for that policy and a VP who's actually going to hold you to that policy. Will we get that? No, nope, don't think so. But, you know, look, I, I'm not I'm not unwinnable, right? At this point, I think I'm most likely not going to vote. Um, that may change. I may vote for the Green Party nominee, but I am gettable. If I genuinely believe that I'll get one life-changing, life-saving policy, and I can trust that you're going to fight for it, uh, I'd vote for you. Do I think I'm going to get that from Joe Biden? I don't. So, um, look, 
good luck, bud. You are absolutely going to need that because uh, I, I can't even I, I can't even put into words the task that you have ahead of you. It's going to be tough.